I was I'm developing a a Divi site, and I have this weird issue using the accordion module. Uh, so these, as you can see, are accordions, and I've got um, stuff going on like Divi Booster to do them closable and all that. You can do that by hand as well. But you see this annoying little transition or whatever it's called that um, seems to use the same color as the color that I set for the accordion's little tab, the green color. And every time it animates, there's an issue. Now, I don't want that color. I just want it to immediately, I don't want it to drag itself. So there is no viable solution for this. Unfortunately, you have to change this every time you update Divi because there's no way you can actually um, move this file to a child theme and for it to be able to work. So this is what I did. I went into the FTP of this site and then I went to this folder. It's the Divi theme folder, right? So it's <clears throat> WP content themes Divi includes bolder scripts. And what I did was I came down. I, I, I've, I've got it here. I've got it ready. As you can see, this is 700. If you wanted to go faster, you can lower the speed as fast as you want. For me, I don't want it to generally do anything. So I went to line, what is it, 2706 in this case. And I set that to zero instead of 700. And there's another position where I have to do this. And that position should be, where is it now? It's about the same. It just is according on yes. I did that to zero. And there's another one. Let me just find it. I'm doing this video on the fly, so it's not pre-scripted or anything. That's why um, that's why you're seeing me actually doing it live. I know there's another place I need to set this. So <clears throat> let me just do a find. It's not this one. It's not this either. It's not this. Uh, let's see if this is Accordion toggling. Yes, okay, so I did it here, remember? And I was supposed to go two lines up and I didn't know it because I'm a blind idiot. I press zero, I save the file, I'm control editing. As you can see, I'm updating my FTP. I also have the minification settings for CSS and JavaScript in Divi and the Boulder disabled. I'll show you in a second. But if you come back to the site, and assuming I don't have any cache in my browser, let me reload and see what happens. Don't know if it's going to crash the video though. Didn't seem to. But now you'll see that immediately I get an open. That's basically the trick. Unfortunately, because I can't actually do this in a child theme, every time I need to uh, do this, I'm going to have to come make the changes. The one line is line number, as we said, 2,701. And the other one is 2,706. Now, as the theme changes, they might be an option. Currently, I'm on version number. Let's see what I'm on. So anyway, let's see what version of Divi I'm on. Um, just to be sure, let's uh, do that. Appearance seems just to be sure. Let's see, uh, I seem to be on version number 317.6. So that's about it. Remember, I said that in Devi's options, I have this set to not minify any CSS or JavaScript. So 
I went down here and I disabled any kind of, uh, uh, what is it? Minification to combine JavaScript files, which is basically the one I had to disable. I just disabled them all because I'm, I'm developing. So I disabled JavaScript, which is what you have to disable. And then I did CSS and then I went into the builder, into the advanced settings right here. And I said, you know, disable static CSS generation product tool, which I don't need. So that's about it on how to get this done.